I've been doing different forms of weaving for um, about 20 years now. I guess I've always been interested in playing with materials. Since my undergraduate, I've been very interested in different ideas of, of space. In arriving in Australia in 2003, I needed to find ways of, of making sense of being here for myself and a lot of the kind of making processes was a way of sort of orientating myself in a completely um, new, new place. Um, these things sort of evolve over time and it's wanting to take what I've learned through, through the weaving and continue to have my own kind of studio and public art practice through that, but also begin to collaborate with architects, begin to kind of hopefully get in the heads of urban planners. And I'm looking at using materials that um, are part of the functional fabric of our everyday lives, of the, of the urban fabric that, are, that is around us. But they're quite often hidden. They're quite often not um, meant to be seen. It's that thought of taking something and exploring other qualities that people might not be so familiar with. But through that process of just extracting a different kind of linearity from it, it's, it's transformed, it, it becomes something else. It's about the thing being in motion. Um, it's about the kind of, um, the decisions happening as a form of motion and the body in motion um, as, as it makes. But also the forms themselves come from looking at sites and looking at the way people move through and around those sites um, before making the work. So how are people already kind of passing through a particular site. Are they going past on a car? Are they going past on a bike? Are they gonna, how are you gonna get people to stop? How are you gonna get people to move around a thing and take a moment to think differently? So I think what we need is we need the volume in the top first. So the kind of starting point for this project was looking at 70s art and architecture around Canberra um, with the theme of transformation. So how could we potentially transform the way we look at these um, spaces or these kind of moments in, in architecture and design? What happens when you don't know what the outcome's going to be and you're not working to a predetermined design and you're moving into unknown spaces? And so how do you kind of prepare the work for that? How do you gain the trust of, you know, whether it's a public art commission or a curator? How do you kind of take people on the journey of a piece of work without necessarily quite knowing what it's, it's going to be? And so an awful lot of what happens is setting up the parameters for working with the unknown and not quite knowing what's going to happen next. And bit by bit, the thing begins to come together and begins to emerge in the process. Uh, here is pretty nice. Yeah. Because it's got the bit on top and all the way through. Yeah. And even just here, you sort of get both windows. So it's just a collaboration between myself and Lucy Irvine uh, for the Design Canberra Festival 2021. And we're just doing a graphic interventions, which is going to be a photo exhibition in the end. And we're basically going around sticking Lucy's sculptures on 70s architecture in Canberra and fairly iconic stuff like the bus stop. I actually think these are quite surreal spaces already. I don't think that the work um, makes them any more strange. And so if you kind of enter that space with, with some other kind of life form, you know, maybe it opens up other ways of um, existing in those spaces. Whoa. <laughs> Straight over my head. Like, I, I don't push into Lucy's territory. She asks me for my opinion all the time because that's collaborating and I'll just say, you come and have a look because I don't have any idea about space and form. I know composition, lighting, photo terms like that. So I use my expertise where it's needed and she does her thing. And I think that's where a lot of magic happens when you actually bring together people with different kinds of skill sets, but something of a shared vision or something of a shared interest, because it means that something that you didn't quite know was possible then happens.